So here's a little IRC client that I wrote today called Turk. Um, it's based on AppJS, um, which allows you to build node-powered uh, native applications. Um, so let me show you what's going on here. So the first thing you notice is that it's it's a really simple like, layout. I mean, it's <laughs> text box and basically a list. Okay, so we're connected now. Um, let me pull up XChat. Uh, get rid of all that stuff. Okay, so the idea behind this is that there are, there's no such thing as a tab, because I'm, I'm kind of sick of this down here. Um, so all of the channels are kind of merged together, um, but you get this thing called the context. So. For instance, if I were to message um, Tempar, which is this window on Freenode, um, and say, hey, there it is. OK, so you might have noticed this um, little green guy pop up. And that is um, the current context. So if I continue typing in here, um, it will continue to go with the tempar because that's the context that I'm in. Um, the same thing is true with channels. Right, so I sent a message, I sent another one, and it works. So one of the cool things with this is, actually there's two cool things as of right now. Number one, if I mention by name TIRC, it will highlight. I mean, this is all just HTML, so it's not that impressive, but I think it looks kind of cool. So there's that. And because it is HTML, uh, we can do all kinds of interesting things, like take images off the internet, paste them into an IRC client, and have them show up over here because it is HTML based. So that's really fancy. Um, so some of the things that I'm still working on um, are okay so we don't we don't have tabs but I think because this is JavaScript enabled, we have the ability to do a smarter type of uh, filtering here. So each one of the messages comes in with a prefix of the channel and then who set it. And so what I'm thinking is that we have a series of plugins that kind of like learn, um, you know, what's going on. So you could say uh, from Ubuntu. Ignore Andrew H192 because he's a troll or something. I, I don't know. I don't know the guy, so who knows. Um, or only collect links or images or whatever from a particular channel. I think that might be interesting. I think it'd be cool to try and figure out how to extract um, some more pertinent information. So that's about it for now. Thanks.